Breaking news, my lovely people, is your brother Yahaya Bello. Is on <laughs> Yahaya Bello is on the is on the radar again. Yahaya Bello is here. Anyway, my lovely people, uh, the full features of uh, his property shows EFCC desperate. That's what Yahaya Bello has got to say. Say no, EFCC is the one that is desperate. To him himself, he's not desperate. He said EFCC is the one that is desperate. They are against him for whatever they whatever they think they can get. But for him, he's quite happy and he knows that he. Will be able to you know make the difference and he'll be able to make something you know uh he will he will prove them wrong please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details alleged for feature of my property shows efcc is truly desperate the kogi state government has faulted the economic and financial crime commission for reportedly forfeiting 14 of his properties in Lagos, Abuja, and the United Arab Emirates following an order from the court saying they are so desperate to put me in a very tight corner for no just cause. The government described the forfeiture as a desperate collusion of confusion on intellect Gent officers and the EFCC as Nigerian's corruption headquarter. He said the EFCC are the most corrupt set of people. They are the headquarter of Nigerian Corruption Center and they are trying to convict, convict people. The EFCC boss himself should be convicted. In a statement on Wednesday, Kingsley Faro, the state commissioner for information and communication to governor Yahaya Bello said, Bauer has shown like many civil society organizations had pointed out that his mandate for EFCC was to bring down the perceived enemies of those who planted him there at the expense of the nation's integrity. Bauer is working for those who put him there. Nigerians have begun to speak. Nigerian says, you know, the Kogi state governor said, when it consigns them, EFCC is their spirit. But when it consigns innocent citizens, EFCC is doing their job. What a country. And I want to say, shameless man, what are you doing with such property? Only you 14. What have you done before you became a governor? When your, when your state's, your state civil servants are yet to be paid eight months salary, yet you have eight properties in some of the choicest places in the world. Another one says the Kogi state government has never declared to its citizens that they have such properties. I think the EFCC is doing a great job in uncovering all this. His wife is wanted, by the way. Where is she? The other one said propaganda, misinformation, fake news have potentials of particularizing the public and all that we need to know. There is serious matters here. Please, government should quickly sell this property and pay the citizens of Kogi State Governor's state. Kogi civil servant has not been paid now for eight months. And that one said they buy houses everywhere around the world, yet civil servants are not paid. This is terrible. I mean, Nigerians have just been speaking. Nigerians have just been speaking all over, saying one man, 14 properties in some of the choicest places in the world. This is terrible. You know, so some of these are some of the things that are going on, and every single one of us we can see. And I will say, go face your course, so finish your finish as being the governor of the state so that immunity go go, then you go enter trouble. And I will say, ah, you go enter trouble, immunity don't use immunity, cover themselves. So these are some of the things that are going on. And Nigerians, you cannot begin to imagine people you thought you have given the opportunity. Okay, to to be leaders are the ones taking advantage of every opportunity they have, and now the same power is you know is uh, is their spirit. Like so one of the uh, one of the persons said, he said when it comes to them, EFCC coming hard on them. The EFCC is their spirit, but when it comes to EFCC going on going against Nigerian citizens, uh, the EFCC is doing their job. Can you see? Can you see where we are at at the moment, Nigerians? It is high time. Okay. It is high time we do things decently and in order. We all just have to ensure that, you know, we do not allow these people, okay, these people to put us, you know, in devastation. Because most of them, honestly, sincerely speaking, you don't know them at all. No knowledge of them. They are actually looking out for money for themselves. It's not, imagine only one man. This is the one we know. By the way, his wife is wanted. 
yeah, the governor of Kogi State, uh, Yahaya Bello's wife. Nobody has seen her since she has been declared wanted by EFCC. Why did EFCC declare her wanted? EFCC alleged that the husband may have opened the state treasury to her and a lot is missing. Okay, and a lot is missing from the state treasury. As we speak, people in Kogi State has not been paid for eight months. Okay, they've not been paid for eight months. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They've not been paid. Salaries have not been paid for eight months. Yet what we see is quite different. Okay, people are people are people are going through a lot. Yet one person alone has 14 properties in some of the choicest places in the world. Okay, in the best place in Lagos and the best place in you know all over the world. You know, in the Arab Emirates, you know, Buhari's wife now is living in the Arab Emirates. And they come to tell you that they want to lead. I don't know why they, how they want us to trust them. This same Yaya Bello that EFCC is on his case also bought the interest nomination form. He wanted to be president. And now EFCC is telling us now that Yahaya Bello is not clean. Remember, he's also an APC man. No? So it's not like it's a PDP government going against him, you know, to just to soil his name. No, it's his own party that is on board. And it is his own party exactly that is also fighting, you know, the uh, uh, Naira redesign. His own party, governors of his state. So these are some of the things that are going on. And every single one of us must watch things very carefully. Okay? We must watch things carefully and understand what we're doing. It's sad. Okay? It's sad, but these are some of the things that are going on. Every single one of us must ensure that will do everything humanly speaking possible and get Nigeria back on track. Let's not just sit there and think that they will they will do the right thing. Okay? So it is it is a matter of urgent attention that we that we stand up to what is good, what is necessary, what is needed to move us forward. If we sit down and we allow people who we thought, yeah, you know, men and women of integrity, we may be surprised what we follow, what we will discover. So EFCC now is on power still. They are watching him closely. Uh, 14 properties have been taken. Okay. And so this is what is happening. Anyway, my lovely people, what do you think? These are the days upon us. This is what is going on now. This is what is going on now. Okay. This is what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.